So after two days traveling, we arrived at Varzuga village and we were greeted by the Russian guides from Sabati camp, also known as Lower Varzuga. The ice had cracked and the river had started to move. So we decided to take the boats between these huge icebergs to get down to Lower Varzuga. There are supplies coming in every day via boat and helicopter and these would be split up into the four different camps. When you first see the sheer size of the Varzuga system, it blows you away. At this time of year, there's an incredible amount of ice and snow melting as the temperature changes from winter into spring. This causes the water to rise in the river, which is incredibly dangerous. When we arrived at the Kitsa River, it was incredibly high water and the ice had all melted, which was fantastic for the start of the season. I traveled to sunsets waiting for you. Did you ever see the faces of the moon? I promise you, Lord, there's one or two. Did you ever wish the keys were in the door? I promise you, Lord, it opened before. For me, the Keats is such a special place. It's got so much biodiversity, so much wildlife, and it's completely cut off from civilization, which, to me, is perfect. Did you ever wish the keys were in the door? I promise you, love, it opened before. For most people, just being up in such a wild environment is enough, but catching such an amazing fish, it makes the whole experience so rewarding.
first half of the season was just spectacular. There were so many fish running. It was just an absolute bonanza.